I am Helen James of the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. I work in the division of birds behind the scenes where we have our scientific research collections. I study fossil birds, especially fossil birds from islands, and I seek to find how birds got to remote islands, how they established themselves there, how they changed after they got there evolutionarily, and also why islands are the sites of so much recent endangerment and extinction of species. I travel to the field sites. I go out, for example, to my main field site in the Hawaiian Islands every year. We conduct excavations and we recover fossils. Then uh, I bring the bones back to the museum. We identify them by comparison with our reference collection. I work with a molecular biologists to extract DNA from the bones and study their evolutionary uh, relationships and population genetic history. I also work with biogeochemists and in the laboratory they extract stable isotopic signatures from the bones and we learn something about the ecology of the birds when they were alive. And um, also we do radiocarbon dating so we know when the birds were alive. And, and we put all these elements together and come up with a, a cohesive picture. One important thing that I've discovered in the course of my research is that islands have often suffered catastrophic ecological collapses with the extinction of many species of vertebrates, especially of birds, after human arrival on islands. In the Hawaiian Islands, most of the extinctions that took place of birds took place prehistorically. So it was after those uh, fabulous sailing canoes had arrived and, and for centuries people had been inhabiting the islands, but before historical records started being kept of bird life there. So what we have done is gone back and found the fossil record, very recent fossil record of these birds, and discovered what used to be there before humans arrived, and we're trying to really deeply understand why these birds have disappeared. Almost all of the extinctions that I've uncovered in my work happened after people had arrived on the island in question. And if we are going to be able to reverse the incredible endangerments and extinctions of species on islands that are, are occurring now, we really need to understand this record and understand what things were like before and why we lost so many species already. I was inspired to become a scientist growing up in northwest Arkansas in the Ozark Mountains. And I lived really in the woods, the beautiful eastern deciduous forest, and out in the old fields. And I would see around me um, Amerindian artifacts, as well as fossils from the Devonian seabeds that were exposed. And so I was always sort of interested in the fact that a lot of interesting stuff had gone on before I came to Arkansas. And I could see the evidence of it around in the rocks and the dirt. And so I've been very surprised that there was a place for me as an adult to continue to ask these kinds of questions in the same way.